Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have the Xiaomi Mi 5S, so this is a flagship device from Xiaomi. So first of all we have the Snapdragon 821, we have 3 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and running Android 6, so on paper it does sound very good. Before we go any further make sure that you press that subscribe button and let's begin! We have yet another beautiful phone from Xiaomi. So yes, the phone is made out of glass and metal and I have to say that it looks very, very elegant, better than a lot of phones on the market. So even though we have a 5.15 inch screen, the phone is not big, so you can actually hold it in one hand very, very easily. And you can even type with one hand. So yeah, the phone is rather small and it does feel really nice in your hand. So starting with the back, so we have nicely curved edges, we have a dual tone flash, we have the 12 megapixel camera, which is a really good camera actually and I'm gonna get to that uh, in a bit. We also have the Mi logo and a couple of antennas, so the back looks very very nice and elegant. At the bottom of the device you're gonna find what looks like two speakers, however only one of them is a speaker, the other one it's probably a microphone. And we're also gonna find the USB-C. Now the USB-C port supports OTG, so the phone supports OTG, you can just plug in any USB stick and uh, you'll be able to see whatever it's on that USB stick. And since we're talking about the speakers, let me play a sample of how the speakers sound. So yes, the speaker does get uh, very loud, but it is very easy to actually cover it uh, whenever you're holding the phone. So that's a downside uh, to it. On top of the device, uh, we're just gonna find the 3.5mm audio jack, and unfortunately we don't have the IR blaster anymore. On the right hand side, you're gonna find the power button and the volume keys, and of course they're made out of metal, but I don't like the fact that they actually stick out uh, from the phone. Another thing I don't like about the buttons, if you touch them slightly, they kind of shake and rattle, so check this out. So those buttons definitely make some noise whenever you touch them. And lastly, on the left hand side of the device, we are going to find the SIM card uh, slot. This device takes two SIM cards, two nano SIMs, but you cannot insert an SD card. We also have a non removable 3100 mAh battery, and with most Xiaomi phones, we do get some really good uh, battery life. However, with this one, I was able to get about 12 hours or so and only about 4 hours of screen on time, which is not the best. And moving on to the front of the device, so I got the white colored one and whenever you look at it to the screen off it does look fairly good. However, as soon as you turn on the screen you're gonna notice that you have some black bezels around the screen. So then you're gonna have the white phone, black bezels and then the screen. So in my opinion it doesn't look that good, I don't know what they're thinking when they actually made this. If you get the black uh, version, I guess that's not gonna be noticeable because the black is gonna match the bezels, but to this version, yeah, it doesn't look that great. So the 5.15 inches uh, screen is covered by some uh, type of scratch resistant uh, glass because I did try to actually scratch it a couple of times and it doesn't seem to get scratched. We have really nice and good viewing angles, I mean you can look at the phone pretty much in any position and you're gonna be able to see the screen. The screen gets very very bright, however if you do go outside in broad daylight it is a bit difficult to see, so I was expecting that uh, the screen would get a bit brighter. And on top of the screen we are gonna find a notification light, so this notification light can change colors depending uh, on whatever uh, messages or notifications you get. And we also have a 4 megapixel front facing camera, and the pictures that uh, I took with this front facing camera do look very very nice. And here are some samples in low light conditions, in uh, good light conditions, so yeah I think that the camera does a very good job uh, mostly for the front facing camera. This is a very quick sample uh, filmed with the front facing camera and uh, this of course is the microphone from the phone. And all the way at the bottom of the screen we are gonna find the three buttons. So we have a multitasking button, we have a return key and the home button. In the home button we actually have a fingerprint scanner. I did try the fingerprint scanner many many times, so all you have to do is actually touch the fingerprint scanner, you don't need to touch any other buttons before and the screen will turn on. The fingerprint scanner is accurate, I would say 9.9 .9 times out of 10, so it does work uh, fairly good and it is very fast as well. 
We have Android 6 running on the Mi 5S uh, with the Xiaomi's own skin on top of that. Some of you will love that skin, some of you will hate it. Me personally, I don't exactly like uh, any of these uh, skins on top of uh, stock Android and I do prefer stock Android. However, if you do like iPhones, this looks a lot like an iPhone. Well, not really, but they are kind of trying to copy some features from um, iPhones. So we don't have an app drawer anymore. Uh, and that's uh, pretty normal for Xiaomi devices. We have some gestures so you can actually change uh, lock screens, wallpapers and uh, so on. And if you go in the settings app there you're gonna find so many options that it's gonna take you forever to actually realize all the options and features that you have. So we have a lot a lot of options like most Xiaomi devices. With the Snapdragon 821 that we have inside this phone, everything is done uh, pretty quickly. I mean, that's a fast processor. Scrolling in between screens, opening apps and everything else uh, is done very, very quickly. Now, I was expecting a higher score on the Antutu and on the Geekbench 4. So the score on the Antutu benchmark was about 98,000 and the score on the Geekbench was also kind of disappointing. I do believe that it has to do with the ROM that uh, came pre-installed on this device. I did uh, hear that there are other ROMs available, so I may try to install another ROM to see if those scores um, actually change. But at this particular time, those were the scores that I got. One thing that I really loved about the phone was the GPS. So as soon as you turn on that GPS testing unit, like no matter where you are, it connects to satellites. It takes literally seconds to connect. And of course, Google Maps will also work really, really good because it does connect the satellites very, very quickly. For sensors, as you'd expect from any flagship device, we're gonna have a lot of sensors. And yes, I did try every single one of them uh, from that uh, blister. And yes, they all uh, seem to work very good without any issues. Connectivity wise, this is a 4G capable device and I was able to connect to the 4G networks um, on Rogers in Canada and I was actually connected to the 4G network, I would say 95% of the time and yeah, it does go uh, fairly good. The speed tests uh, for 4G are uh, as you can probably see right now and um, yes, we do have dual band Wi-Fi on this device so you can connect to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network and the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and that's the speed that I got um, for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, so rather good speeds. One of the most important features in any smartphone these days uh, are the rear cameras and this one has a really good uh, rear camera in fact. We don't have optical image stabilization, so we only have electronic image stabilization. And let me give you an example how that looks uh, whenever you're walking and um, the phone has the electronic image stabilization on. And this is a recording with the rear camera and I do have the stabilization on and I'm gonna start walking. So it does look fairly good on the screen here. And now the exact same thing but to the stabilization off. So you can probably tell that uh, the image shakes quite a bit uh, when the stabilization is set to off. The camera app looks like the camera app that you've seen on many Xiaomi devices uh, and it does uh, look a bit like a camera app that you would find on an iPhone. However, with this camera app we do have a lot of uh, settings, there are a lot of mods uh, that you can choose from. We do have a manual mode where you can change uh, pretty much anything you want. So yeah, the camera app is very, very complete. Um, it's actually way better than the camera app that you'd find on my Google Pixel XL. Now, taking pictures, it's extremely fast. Even in HDR, uh, the phone does take pictures very quickly. And if you're taking pictures at night time, if you hold the phone uh, steady enough, the pictures do turn out uh, very decently. And you're probably seeing some sample pictures that I took uh, for, for the past two or three days. So some night pictures, some daytime pictures, uh, and they all seem to look fairly good and uh, like the pictures that you'd expect from a flagship device. All the apps and games that I tried, um, they do work very good, they open very quickly. So if you open the browser, you can just browse pretty much any website. You just have to give the phone a second or so to load the page. But after that, you can zoom in, zoom out um, and uh, everything that you can possibly imagine. So it does work very good. The maximum resolution on YouTube, uh, as you're probably expecting, it's 1080p because that's the resolution of the screen. And of course, the videos do work um, very good at that resolution. Gaming also works really good. 
so no matter what game you're gonna throw at this phone it's gonna do just fine now ram management it's not the best so what does that mean so let's say that you have 10 apps running in the background and you like switching in between apps well the phone tends to kind of kill the apps running in the background so if you have a game uh, and then you open the browser because you have to search something there is a good chance that um, the game is gonna be killed and you're gonna have to restart it which is not great and i was hoping that uh, with this uh, device they would kind of uh, fix that a bit but no the ram management it's not the absolute best uh, for the mi 5s and it's time to conclude this video so the front and the rear cameras are great uh, they're like the cameras that you'd expect from any flagship device you can take really nice pictures the screen resolution i wish to be a bit higher because 1080p in 2016 you know everybody's bringing uh, quad hd resolutions I don't like those bezels around the screen, I wish they would have made them white or something so they don't actually stand out uh, that much, but um, it is what it is. The RAM management, again, it's not the best and that uh, needs to be improved. The battery life also not the best and that uh, should improve a bit. But overall, um, let's keep in mind that this uh, device only costs about $300 and um, to get something with these specs from uh, another company like Apple or Samsung or whatever, yeah you're gonna have to spend about a thousand bucks so overall i think it's a good device there are a lot of uh, roms available uh, out there and you can probably install a different rom uh, so you can get better battery life and uh, whatnot so overall i think it's a very decent phone that needs some improvements all right guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you do have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below if you did like it press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching